As we prepare to hear upside and great length tonight during the draft, here's another key word. How about flexibility? The NBA getting a jump start yesterday with a pair of trades. And let's start with the Knicks here. Tyson Chandler going back to Dallas to join Dirk and the Mavs. Both sides believe it will help their case in signing Carmelo Anthony and potentially LeBron James. And let's bring in NBA insider Brian Windhorst and front office insider Amin El Hassan. And you guys... There have been a couple trades here. Now, there was another trade also involving the Rockets. Omar Asik moved over to the uh, New Orleans Pel Pelicans and, and another flexibility move. When you hear about these trades the day before the draft and pending free agency on July 1st, I mean, when you look at these three teams specifically, the Knicks, the Rockets, and the Mavericks, does this help them in trying to bring in a LeBron as well as a Melo? Well, it helps all three teams in different ways. For the Rockets, getting rid of Oshik was huge because his contract was an $8 million cap hit, almost $15 million in cash out. So the, they, the fact that they got him out of there and got a first-round pick for it was huge. It opens up flexibility, that's your word, uh, to pursue a LeBron or a Carmelo. When you talk about the Knicks, it's more about making it a more hospitable situation for Carmelo to come back, not necessarily to go out and get LeBron. So they upgraded the point guard position, they shaved a little salary, and they got picks, two second round picks, which are really important because they didn't have any picks going into the night. And then when you talk about Carmelo and the Mavericks, they made themselves a better team. Their salary went up a little bit, but they got rid of Jose Calderon's long-term money. Tyson Chandler makes them a better team today, and that presumably makes them more attractive. This is going to be the start of a series of deals where the first thing you hear about is salary cap space. The Houston Rockets traded away a starting quality center uh, for a future draft pick yesterday, just gave him away because they're excited about the ability to just go after Carmelo and LeBron. They don't have Carmelo and LeBron committed. They're just hoping to be able to pitch them, those guys. And then the, the Dallas deal, they get Tyson Chandler, former defensive player of the year, a guy who was an instrumental part of their championship. And you know what they were talking about after they made that deal? Hey, we just increased our available salary cap space. Everything you're going to see, you're going to see teams tonight trade away first-round draft picks, those, these valuable things, and high-five each other under the table just because they cleared off a million or two in extra space for, for next week. And there's only one team Melo and LeBron can join <laughs> each, right? Because there's going to be a lot of teams sitting there waiting oh. after in July with all this free cap space. You say there's wondering. one team. You say there's one team. There's ten teams that are dreaming about ten it. Ten teams and, dreaming, and, but they can only and, land at one spot, but right? They, right. Well, they can only get one spot, but which teams can actually do it? And those are what those deals are, are, these deals are all about. How about the dominoes also heading in tonight? You mentioned some teams just giving up first-round draft picks just to maneuver and jockey around and free this cap space. Hey, this first round, this first number one overall pick with the Cavaliers, very much in play. Uh, the, two teams that have two picks in the lottery. 76ers have three and 10. Magic have four and 12. Both talking to the Cavs about moving in there. Cavs still not 100% sure what they're going to do. Trade, Wiggins, Parker. It's going to be a wild ride going up to that first pick tonight. Yeah, and Cleveland, we know, they're known for subterfuge. They took waiters and no one saw it coming. They took Anthony Bennett and no one saw it coming. So expect the same for number one tonight, whether it gets traded or it's a, a name that we didn't expect. Real quick, Kevin Love gets moved tonight, guys. Do you, you feel that? I don't feel it moved? at all. I, I think they're going to hold on to him. I think so as well. All right. The circus will begin at 7 p.m. Eastern time, the NBA draft on ESPN.